Hello and a warm welcome to West Yorkshire. We're at Allen Road, a stadium first opened way back in 1897. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Leeds United versus Everton. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, hitting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And a look at the Leeds United starting 11. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And here's how Everton line up. Well, it looks like they're going to play in a 3-4-3 formation, but without wing-backs. So although they might have an overload in midfield, they will be vulnerable to any switches of play by the opposition. And so the match is underway. Mopé. Creative look about this. Now the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. And he whips it in. Well, he got his head on it, but not quite right. Cooper. Ailing. James the referee knew that was foul play but advantage it is how about the cross it might still be problematic could be troublesome can they forge ahead well and a goal at the second time of asking but the keeper has let his team down Well, as you can see, it's an error from the goalkeeper. You just can't spill it into a dangerous area like that. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Gray. On the ball, Andros Townsend. Oh, that's a really good run. And the keeper got there.
And there's the delivery. Not away completely. It might be on for them. And he's done it. Parity again. A magnificent game unfolding. Well, here it is again. And if you are going to clear the ball, you have to get height and distance on it to give your defence time to readjust. And they don't do that. It's a poor clearance. And suddenly, the ball's in the back of the net. Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Running room in the wide position. And players waiting in the centre. Just wanted to get it out of there. Can they create something from here? And he takes it away. Now can they counter clinically? Defenders need to cover. And crossing towards the far post. Well, still an issue here. Promising looking ball. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. Junior Firpo. Patrick Bamford. Adams. Harrison. Good looking ball. And disappointing for the players of the centre that it didn't reach them. Vitali Mikolenko. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Mopé. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. So it's going to be a goal kick here. Mark Roca. And all the way through it goes to the goalkeeper. It will be. Everton moving the ball forward with purpose. But quick thinking defensively. Harrison. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And to play it goes, he was under a bit of pressure. Not a good pass. Patrick Bamford. Oh, the threat is there. And the keeper more than equal to it. Now what can they do from here? Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Mopé. Gray now. An awful lot of green space to run into. Targets available. Cross comes in. Struggling to get it away. Gives it a go. And the keeper flings himself at the ball.
And there's the delivery. And the effective clearance. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. It will be now. now. More, more big. Over the touch line for a throw in. Sufficiently serious for play to be stopped. Treatment to quick fire. Started by means of a drop ball. And showing fine vision. Offside it is. Such a pity for him. Well, he thought he was onside, but I think the assistant got that absolutely right. Rodrigo, Adams, Harrison, and a poor attempt at a challenge, and on he goes, crossed into the penalty area, that's a great stop, well his reflexes are so good there, that's a fantastic stop, And a substitution in the offing. Number 16, Tyler Adams. Coming onto the pitch, number four, Adam Forshaw. He's driven in the corner. Well, clattered away. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation.
Playing it in. Behind for another corner. Can they cash in? Now sending it in. Disappointing delivery, sailing over everyone in the middle. No play stopped. It is a free kick. Now to restore their lead here. And a goal! He was composure personified and he's done his job from the spot. Well, here it is again and it can be a risky penalty but he hits it straight down the middle. The goalkeeper goes one way, the ball goes through the middle. Excellent finish. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Everton are the team chasing the game. Let's see how they fare on that front. Well, they're doing their best to get on level terms here. Well, it's a decent effort, but they're still trailing. They need something special here. Substitution for and with play stop, they will make the change now. Ailing Mateusz Klich on the ball, Luke Ailing. A bit of running room now on the wing in the centre and begging to be put away and a goal they're going to take some stopping now two in front here well here it is again and what a perfect cross into the box this is just inviting someone to attack it and then just look at this finish Derek he does so well to read the bounce. Often you can send these into row Z, but he makes the perfect contact. Stunning goal, really. So back underway at 3-1. Won it back. Well, as you can see, Leeds have had the majority of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Time for a change then. might say taking everyone by surprise he didn't miss by much well this is all about his technique the ball seems to gather pace the closer it gets to goal that's a really good effort
Well, the seconds are ticking away and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Yeah, this has been a good performance. They've looked really sharp going... Oh, Stuart, they've got to score! Well, it so nearly went in, but the post having its say. Well, that's a great effort, isn't it? He caught that really well. That deserved a goal. Ten minutes to go then. Bamford. Good visualisation and execution. And still dangerous. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. And he takes it away. For sure. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Can he finish? Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Well, he couldn't have made better contact than that. His technique is brilliant. He's so unlucky there. Rodrigo now with Bamford Sinistera a spot on with that challenge poor attempt at a pass really and Gordon now well, visionary passing. He's managed to get in behind. And in it goes. They're getting closer. They're not finished yet. Well, here it is again. And it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, neutrals are getting their money's worth. 3-2 in this match. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Ailing. James. And continues his run. Chance to play it in. Not away completely. Well, that's the end of that for now. Vitali Mikolenko. It's with Dukure. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Oh, a good diving save. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent their last chance to grab an equaliser. Over it comes. Well, there goes the final whistle. Leeds get the victory and take the three points. How would you sum this up? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Yeah, he had a good game today and of course took his penalty well. He had a big influence on the result.